We continue with the International A-Level Statistics S2 paper from January 2024, and this is question number six. A bag contains a large number of counters with an odd number or an even number written on each. Odd and even numbered counters occur in the ratio 4 to 1. In a game, a player takes a random sample of four counters from the bag. The player scores five points for each counter taken that has an even number written on it and uh, two points for each counter taken that has an odd number written on it. The random variable x represents the total score in points from the four counters. Part A, find the sampling distribution of x. So from the information given in the question, we say that the ratio of uh, odd to even odd to even is 4 to 1. So probability of odd is 4 out of 5 and the probability of even is 1 out of 5. Uh, we also notice from this part of the question that um, an even number scores uh, five points, an odd and uh, an odd counter scores two points. Um, so we let x be uh, the total score and uh, now we're going to find uh, the possible values for x. Obviously, we have four counters. So, we have the following options. Either for all four of them are going to be odd counters. So, uh, four odd. In which case, the total score is going to be four times uh, two, and that's going to be eight. Uh, the other option is that we have one even counter plus three odd counters. So in this case, we get one times the score of even, which is five, plus three times the score and odd, which is two. So we get five plus six, that is 11. Uh, the third option is that we get two even counters and two odd counters. Uh, the total score in this case is going to be 2 times 5 plus 2 times 2. Uh, that's going to be uh, 10 plus 4 is 14. Then uh, the fourth option is going to be 3 even counters and 1 odd counter. So we get uh, 3 times 5 plus 1 times 2, which gives us 17. And the last option is that we get 4 even counters. And uh, that gives us uh, 4 times 5, which is 20. So that means that the values that x can take are going to be uh, 8, 11, 14, 17, and 20. Uh, now we're going to work out the probability of each of these values. The probability of uh, x being 8 is, probability of x equal 8 is going to be uh, 4 out of 5 which is the probability of an odd, of an odd number. Um, and we have four uh, counters, so to the power of four. We get 256 over uh, 625. Then the probability of x equal 11 is going to be one-fifth times 
4 over 5 to the power 3 and that happens 4 choose 1 many times so that gives us 256 over 625 as well then uh, probability of x being uh, 14 is going to be 1 fifth squared times 4 fifth squared and that happens 4 choose too many times and the answer is going to be 96 over 625 uh, also probability of uh, x equals 17 is going to be 1 fifth to the power 3 and 4 fifth to the power 1 and the number of times that this happens is 4 choose 3 and that gives us uh, 16 over 625 and finally the probability of uh, x equals 20 is going to be 1 fifth to the power 4 which gives us 1 over 625 so the sampling distribution of x is going to be uh, the values of x along with uh, their probabilities in a table so uh, i put these values in a table uh, already and that is going to be uh, the distribution that we get um, uh, i've already uh, converted the fractions into uh, decimal so that we can use them in part B okay so that's the sampling distribution of X part B of the question says that uh, a random sample of n sets of four counters is taken the random variable y represents the number of uh, these n sets that have a total score of exactly four and the question says calculate the minimum value of n such that probability of y being greater than or equal to 1 um, is bigger than 0 0.95 so we know from part a uh, that probability of uh, the score x being uh, 14 is 0 0.1536 since we have a n number of trials uh, therefore we have um, a binomial distribution so uh, the random variable y is going to be uh, uh, written with a binomial distribution so y is distributed with binomial distribution uh, with n and the probability is 0 0.1536 now we want the probability of y bigger than or equal to 1 to be greater than 0 0.95 but uh, probability of y greater than or equal to 1 is the same as 1 minus probability of y equals 0 and uh, probability of y equals 0 is in fact 1 minus um, probability that it is uh, the uh, the score is 14 so it's 1 minus 0 0.1539 and uh, uh, sorry three six and uh, that's going to be, that's going to be to the power n and it's great uh, greater than 0 
we rearrange this equation this inequality and we get uh, 1 minus 0 0.1536 to the power n uh, less than 0 0.05 so um, that means uh, 1 minus 0 0.1536 is 0 0.8464 to the power n and that's less than 0 0.05 and from here uh, we can use uh, rules of logs and uh, we have we take log from both sides 0. 8464 to the power n less than uh, log of 0 0.05 and uh, uh, like I said earlier we can use rules of logs and uh, that tells us that we have n log 0 0.8464 um, less than log 0. 0, 0.05 and uh, finally we get n uh, less than so um, oh, uh, we note here that um, log of 0 0.8464 is negative so that means that when we divide both sides by uh, this value um, we have to change the inequality direction so we get n bigger than log uh, 0 0.05 divided by log 0 0.8464 and this value is going to be 17.96 so we want n to be uh, bigger than 17.96 therefore n is 80.